Thanks to this little animal, this tick, I can't eat this animal or this animal or this animal. I have the alpha gal allergy. Well, what does that mean? Am I allergic to alpha gals? Am I intolerant of strong women? Actually, I'm allergic to a carbohydrate called alpha gal. This carbohydrate is from the red meat of four legged mammals. The allergy causes diarrhea and itchy skin about three hours after I eat beef, lamb, pork, or meat from any four-legged mammal. In my case, a tick bite triggered the allergy, and that seems to be pretty typical for the thousands of people who have the allergy. One Georgia morning in March of 2017, I scratched a tick off my back, climbed out of my camper trailer, made my wife a cup of coffee, noticed another tick on me and removed it too. Probably had bacon or sausage for breakfast and hiked to a waterfall with my wife near Cooper Creek Road in the Chattahoochee National Forest in Northern Georgia. As I returned to the campground from that hike, I traveled the last 100 yards very quickly. And then I spent a long time in a building like this. For the next five months, I paid a lot of attention to signs like this. Ticks are dangerous. All I got from this tick was an allergy to beef, lamb, pork, and the meat of other four-legged mammals. I don't really care about that. I don't have to eat beef, lamb, pork, or buffalo. But I camp about 30 nights a year, and I've had many, many tick bites over the past decade. And for years, my doctor has insisted that I notify him anytime I get a tick bite. So after returning from that Georgia vacation, I immediately contacted my doctor here in Kansas. My doctor prescribed an antibiotic to guard against Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, or whatever disease the tick might have carried. We weren't worried about any meat allergies though. I had never heard of such a thing and my doctor was more mindful about the severe diseases that he had seen in other patients bitten by ticks. Now, if you get a tick bite, ask your doctor for a prescription to an antibiotic. It won't protect you from the allergy, but it will help you avoid something much worse. An antibiotic could protect you from tick diseases, which can be much, much worse, and you certainly don't want to get both a disease and the allergy. Sure enough, the antibiotic I got from my doctor did not protect me from the allergy. But in March of 2017, I didn't know that I had a meat allergy, so I kept eating meat. And I had frequent, urgent bouts of diarrhea. They required vigilance to control and avoid embarrassment. I didn't know what was causing this problem. Mild diarrhea and itching were nearly constant problems that summer. It wasn't easy for me to directly connect my symptoms to my diet because the symptoms only intensified three hours after I ate red meat. After I got the antibiotic from my doctor, I did not ask him about my symptoms. I thought he might tell me it was irritable bowel syndrome or some other hopeless and incurable disease like that. I don't need a doctor if I have an incurable disease with an unknown cause, do I? So remember August 21, 2017, the day of the solar eclipse in North America? On that day, I ate a hamburger. I know I ate a hamburger, and I also sat in a lawn chair in the grass in Northwest Missouri to wait for the eclipse. And so did my daughter. Well, three hours later, after the eclipse had come and gone and I had dropped off my daughter at her apartment, I rushed to a nearby store to find a restroom. I went home and fell asleep. I woke up. I itched all over. I told my wife that I'd been eaten up by bugs while sitting in a lawn chair in the grass. Well, she called my daughter and asked whether she got bug bites, but she didn't. So I began to suspect that the diarrhea and the itching were related and that I had some kind of a problem with meat. 
In late August of 2017, I finally did a Google search for the term meat intolerance. My search results prominently featured credible research about the alpha-gal allergy, the ticks that make the allergy possible, and the most common symptoms. I was very excited to share my Google research with my doctor. I know, right? The appointment desk, however, set me up with a nurse practitioner. She had never heard of the alpha-gal allergy, the red meat allergy, or the lone star tick. She heard my pitch about how a tick caused my meat allergy. She took my printouts of research papers out of the room. She conferred with a doctor in the hallway, and she came back into the room with a referral to an allergist. I wrote out a history of my personal diarrhea events for the allergist and printed out more research papers. The allergist assured me that he was familiar with the research. He ran skin and blood tests, and I tested positive for the alpha-gal allergy. Researchers first identified the allergy in about 2007 while testing an infusion cancer treatment that contained the carbohydrate known as alpha-gal. Many people participating in the testing of the treatment suffered anaphylactic shock, which is a severe allergic reaction. These people then explained to the researchers that they'd had strange reactions to mammal meat for months or years, and they told their doctors about them in many cases. And some of these people said they noticed their problems began after they'd been bitten by ticks, and they told their doctors about that. Through the magic of science, the researchers figured out that three or four species of ticks around the world cause the allergy in Europe, South America, Africa, and Australia. But in North America, the Lone Star Tick is the culprit. 